Hey Facebook, what's up? Happy Thursday, almost Friday. So if you've never joined any of my lives, okay, you've never joined any of my lives, what I need you to do right now is I need you to go get a pen and paper, okay? Get a pen and some paper, because when I show up, just know that by you watching it, your life will be changed. It's this it's just that simple. It's just what I show up to do. So anybody that shows up to listen, get your pen and your paper. Because I always want to talk about just deep stuff that everybody wants to avoid. But it's like, no, we're going to talk about it and we're going to heal through it. And I'm going to teach you how to heal through it today. Okay. But first I want to talk about like how it shows up. So let me just invite some friends. Let me just invite some friends so we can talk a little about abandonment. Because this is so deep and, um, you know, the reason why I love talking about this stuff because I love seeing people just transform and become new. So the reason why I wanted to talk about this is because I was on a call the other day and the woman kind of brought it up. And this has just been a word. So when I keep seeing words or experiencing or seeing people experience the same thing, I'm like, okay, let me talk about it because that means everybody's probably experiencing it so we all need to talk about it so if you don't know who i am my name is ebony shatora i am your favorite wellness practitioner what i do like i'm just getting rid of the fancy bio in 2021 okay i'm just tell you what i do so i bring light into dark spaces anytime i show up my show up to help people change i show up to open my mouth and whatever comes out of my mouth is dedicated to helping people change um, especially when I go live right the typing stuff that's a whole nother game but especially when I go live so today I really wanted to talk about abandonment because it's like one of those uh, it's the fiber that drives social media okay um, so I just I really want to get into this I can't even I'll save the bio for later so whoever's joining me just hello invite your friends tell them come through because this is the this is the fiber that drives social media this is the fi fiber that uh, drives a lot of our ways so I just want to break it down for you okay hey Nico hello 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 so listen I bring light into dark spaces and I do this through inner child healing mindset mastery and meditation and basically I help bring all these things together to help people heal right now in real time like heal right now if you are going back to some time in your past when you were five seven eleven I don't care how old you are okay I don't care how old you are um, if you can go back to that time and still feel sad, if it can still evoke uh, negative emotions within you, excuse me, everyone, you, th then you have to heal, okay? You have to heal. That's the sign that you have to heal. When you can think back to an experience and be triggered just as you were in that day, in that moment, you need to heal. So when you hear all these woo-woo scientific people say, time doesn't exist. It doesn't because you can literally go back to when you were five right now, right? And this is why healing is so important. So y'all just, just stick with me through this abandonment thing. So I'm going to tell you how it started and then I'm going to tell you my breakdown of it and the things that I see and have seen in myself, the things I've seen in the people that I work with, um, so that you can see them within yourselves and you change, right? And you decide to heal and you decide to let things these things go and use tools like grace and forgiveness and wisdom to guide you to higher vibrations in life isn't that what we want don't we want higher vibrations don't we want to let shit go and like live unapologetically supposedly don't we want to be limitless well in order to be limitless you gotta let shit go okay and I feel like I have the plug okay I have the plug so um, abandonment it's the act of getting rid of something so while I was on a call the other day excuse me Uh, the woman got on the call with me because I was doing a clubhouse. She had mentioned she felt stuck. Anytime I hear that, I'm like, ooh, buzzword. I'm going to help you get unstuck real quick. Like, let's jump on the phone. So we get on the phone, and she's just sharing different things with me, why she feels stuck. And we get into a little bit that, you know, her mom was an alcoholic. So obviously, if her mom's an alcoholic, she wasn't present there for her, obviously, right? So then we get into a situation where we start talking about how she's running her business. She became a contractor with another business. 
welcome everyone that's just joining we're talking about abandonment so stick with me because you need this topic don't leave this don't leave this live like I don't show up for kicks and kibbles and bits okay I show up to give you something so solid and filled with just God energy that you just just have to take it and just let it brew within you and greatness will happen okay especially when it comes to healing so she subcontracted contracted for a job and she was working there everything was good and they let her go uh, just like a blanket statement didn't really tell her why uh, had said that some people had complained about her whatever it just sounded like whatever reason they gave her wasn't really the truth so she gets let go from an organization but she doesn't realize because of her own abandonment issues from her mother she is not replaying that scenario somewhere else in her life because she hasn't forgiven her mother. Prior to us even getting to that topic, you can tell that she doesn't have probably the best boundaries with her mother. And that's what happens when we suffer from abandonment is we have poor boundary issues. Either we create too many boundaries and we don't let people in and we create a big fence around ourselves and we don't let people in and then we wonder why we have no friends or we allow people to do whatever they want and regret it later, right? There's a balance to that. So in listening to her, she ends up, what, what I do is I help people, I help you see where you have not healed. I help you see the, the, the different vibrations and energies that experiences that start all the way down from your bottom to all the way up. Why you block your throat, why you don't speak your voice, why you have headaches all the time and you don't have clarity, right? Why, why your shoulders hurt. Like now when I stretch, I'm like, this is all energetic. What do I need to let go today? So going back to abandonment, when we suffer from abandonment and in listening to her story, her mother abandoned her because her mother was an alcoholic. These issues are so deep within us. They are DNA level because what we don't understand is that they experienced that same sort of abandonment at some level because that's why they did what they did. Right, so you see how this just carries on and carries on and then it gets to you and now you're trying to awaken. Everybody gets the thread between uh, your childhood and your adulthood. Everybody gets that. We're all into psychology these days, okay? But how many of us really know how to apply it and heal in such a way that you're just like, I'm done. Like, I'm done and I'm unapologetic. And I, when I think back to that emotion or that experience, I don't even get triggered anymore. Like that level of freedom to me is like, it's, more valuable than anything you could ever give me in this world. I don't even want it. Letting things go and feeling the peace of, I really forgive that thing, to me is like, this is what lets you be unapologetic. Now, let's get into abandonment. Perfect segue, okay? How we begin to then, because we were abandoned, we then abandon ourselves. How do we do this? We'll talk ourselves out of it. We'll be logical and we'll say, I don't abandon myself. I love myself and I do this and I eat healthy sometimes and I blah, 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 blah. No, you know when you're abandoning yourself, okay? When you do it through work, you overwork. It's all about work, 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 work for you. And your logical mind's like, yeah, we gotta work, we gotta make money, we gotta do this, we gotta do that, we gotta build this, we gotta build that, but that's not flow right and I'm speaking from experience okay you're abandoning yourself you're not giving to your needs and when you're all about work you have 90% of your eggs in that basket and you're justifying why that's okay right mind body soul connection that means all at all times we should be trying our best to balance those three connections the mind the body and the soul right all of those things have needs and wants and ways in which we have to fill into them and if we are pouring all of our whole life into work we're abandoning ourselves because you're not you think you're putting you first but you're using the work to avoid something you don't want to think about period we all do that right you become a slave to money so the real scripture is not the money is the root of all evil it's the love of money so when you become a slave to it this is no different than work right if you're if you do that with work is is who what has more of the power money or you right and again we are just the vibration so all of this letting go and recognizing why we have abandonment issues and how they appear is so that we can let these things go and clear them away and understand how we we turned into abandoning ourselves the exact things that happened to us we then do to ourselves right the second thing is in personal relationships right a lot of people have membership of uh, family Mem uh, relationships or friendships either they don't have solid friendships or uh, our personal relationships really suffer right you you suffer with your personal relationships at home you could be the boss out there in the world but at home there's no harmony right there's 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 just pure chaos there's no boundaries right and I don't mean at home home it could be just whomever distant family members your mother your father your uncles whomever just whomever 
like I said earlier, you have, if, if you have been abandoned, which is the act of getting rid of something, so your, our parents weren't necessarily emotionally there for us, we all have suffered from that as a generation. Um, and because of that, we have a hard time setting boundaries and we have a hard time missing out. I said this already, abandonment is the root of social media. You wouldn't be scrolling right now on social media at 1034 at night because 15 years ago, we didn't do this. We didn't do any of this. Right. And then the chimes change. And that's why I love what's happening right now, because it shows you how fickle and weak people really were. It shows you how people really don't believe. They don't believe in the mystical. They don't believe in the magical. They don't believe in miracles. They believe in what they're told. They believe in what's the common denominator, the common belief or mediocrity. Right. Mediocrity is the belief of everybody believe in one thing and not setting the bar any higher right life is about progression and expansion and we are meant to expand and we can't if you're doing great things imagine how much more you could expand by letting more things go and forgiving it that's what this is really about is that you create energetic space like why the fuck am i thinking about some shit when i was five let me go to seven days of clarity with ebony and like really learn how to get through this and get rid of it like today okay that's why it's seven days because i'm not letting you down okay and we're gonna we bang it out in seven days working with a chakra each day it's just exhilarating right so you can let these things go and create space for all the great things that are trying to come into your life and I, I literally feel like this is what my 2020 was. If I didn't learn what forgiveness was, if I didn't learn what letting go was, like really letting go, really, really letting go and being able to look at yourself and see why, you, why are you the way that you are? And if you know why you're the way you are and you don't do anything about it, like you're choosing to suffer. You're choosing to be in your space. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You're choosing to do it. There's no reason why we should be having drama and relationships and just like, unnecessary things we're here if we really want to build healing saves us time because then you heal and you move on and you're focused on the right things instead of those traumatic experiences abandonment is a serious thread of look at the the, the, the definition it's the act of getting rid of something you know what my abandonment issue was being abandoned and not feeling emotionally physically all that supported to a sense having to raise myself and do different things on myself and learn them by myself right without that guidance is I, over time right that turned into me being so ashamed that nobody wanted me and that's at the core of why sometimes we don't show up or why we don't show up in our best light or why we have more doubt than faith right why we think oh my god things just always go wrong something's always happening right because nobody was there for you Nobody was there to hug you. Nobody was there to love on you. Nobody was there to tell you you're so beautiful. And a lot of times for many of us, and the stories I hear in these sessions, I swear my heart, every time my heart just, whew, because the weight that I know people carry is just insane. And I'm just gonna say this one thing and then I'm out. <laughs> the last thing we do, uh, two things, is we don't tend to our mind, body, and soul, which I already said that already. And then we also need to be seen. We have a desire to be seen. Because we were abandoned, we desire to be seen. You're going to see me. And sometimes that gets very unhealthy, okay? I'm giving you things that I've experienced myself, okay? When you, when you realize it, right? And this can come in the form of posting posting on social media anything that gets us attention right this is a culture of attention right likes attention it's all about attention do they like me we're like in high school right um needing to be seen and when you see why you're the way you are in these ways you start to change and become more wise and peaceful with who you are so you're again creating space for the things that you want even if it's just peace like peace is priceless all this other stuff is just stuff but peace to me is just the most priceless thing to have in your body and you literally feel the shifts in your body by working with me and doing the seven days of clarity which is going to be launching monday uh february 8th february 8th and we're going into the 14th which is such a perfect day to end on valentine's day right where it's like about love and all this stuff so we're definitely pouring into ourselves i did put the link above i can't see any comments so i don't know if anybody's been commenting i cannot see them hello to everybody who's watching hello to everybody who's gonna watch this on the playback okay if you are loving this message then share it because we all are dealing with the fiber of abandonment of being holding grudges of not wanting to forgive people of like just having all these low vibrational vibes within us so we can't literally focus on the things that 
um, the all, all of good, God's good, right? Literally, I'm just going to say this one last time. Healing saves time. Every time I do this training, this will be the third time, I just keep seeing things so much clearer and I see how we hold on to things and how we allow ourselves to just stay in those spaces. And it's insane. I know the pain that people carry because I know the pain that I've carried, okay? I know the things that have been deep within uh, my fiber and just going through the emotions of not being wanted. Like legit, sit there with yourself one day and realize you know nobody wants you. <laughs> nobody didn't come give you a hug when you were five and tell you it was gonna be okay. And that feeling of abandonment. And sometimes as kids, you might have even had the most loving parents and still felt like that. Like all of our experiences are so different, but literally that experience of abandonment, I hope you've gotten so much from this live. It shows up in so many ways. First and foremost, by us abandoning ourselves. That's why self-love and self-care are like buzzwords when it's like, I've been about this life because mental health relies on you caring about yourself. Mental health relies on you loving yourself, looking in the mirror saying, I love me and I don't give up what other people say. And I mean that. <laughs> like, I don't because opinions don't pay bills and nothing anyone else can say can break you, especially when you're tapped into that God energy, that God power all the time. Your power, not your pettiness or the power that comes with the accolades or the money in your bank account or all these extra accessories things that we get to experience as spirits here in this world okay let's remember that but like just the power you have by just being you and understanding the essence of being a spirit having a human experience is priceless so if you are interested listen if you're interested and this sounds like something you need I want you to click the link sign up today okay we keep it a very small intimate group so that I can answer questions so that we can hear people's stories because there's so many ways that we heal and what I am showing you and what I am teaching you and the meditations that I'm leading you through y'all have already joined me for my meditations live here imagine what's gonna happen seven days with me seven days with me just give me seven days and I'm, I'm telling you, your life is going to be changed. Talk about letting things go. If you want to let things go, if you want internal peace, okay, higher consciousness where you're just looking at the things you used to bother, people, places, and things that bother you and you're so unbothered because you really realize like, I'm not matching your vibration because I'm better than that. And this is when I learned when Jesus talked about turning the other cheek we get it so wrong we get all the messages so wrong because we just don't know we're asleep we're trying to figure it out and we get it so wrong turning the other cheek is the necessary thing to do because you're of higher consciousness you're of higher consciousness not to say you can't love and light and catch these hands like let's not get that all confused either too okay? that's like a whole other topic but i love you all thank you for joining this message again if you like it share it tell people listen deal with these abandonment issues so you can really heal and thrive like and work this energy out of your body for good okay no more looking back to to the childhood years like those gotta it's, it's queen it's, it's queen mode now okay queen crown on crown on crown on right crown, i don't know how to do the crown i'm gonna do it like this looks like two years but i love you all have an amazing night again the link is above and i'm also gonna post it in the comments as always you can dm me with any questions lots of love and light have an amazing night bye